Hello, good morning. Welcome to Stamp and Chat. It's Tuesday the 19th. Is it the 19th? I've lost track of time. Let's say it's the 19th of April and we are live this morning stamping with a bit of new, so a sneak peek of what's coming in the annual catalogue and also bringing in something new, um, something old rather. Oh dear, my head's not with it already, is it? It's not a good start. So I, I am pretty sure it's the 19th today. So if you are dropping by, please let me know you are here. It's always good to know. I know it's half term again, so no idea who will be around. I know some of you are probably off away on your travels. Um, I may not be able to catch up with the live. Good morning, Kay. You're doing good. That's good to hear. I'm okay, but I think I've got, I don't know if it's hay fever or whether I've just picked up like a spring cold. Um, I did do a test this morning because I've got my coffee and card at the hub at the cafe this afternoon. So I've done a test and I'm clear, but I am super sniffy. So, um, and sneezy. So I'm just thinking that it could be hay fever because I know hay fever can come on just like that. Good morning, Elaine. How are you doing? So I'm kind of impersonating Rudolph at the moment <clears throat> and still have the frog in the throat. So we had a lovely weekend. Thank you, Mary. How are you doing? I hope you've all had a good weekend. We seem to have packed quite a lot in. Um, we've been gardening. We've been out to two family dinners um we have been out in the camper we had a night out overnight stay in the camper and we've been to london picked up a new car for jason so yeah i feel like we've like crammed a lot in so good morning ellie you're in padstow oh no heavy rain in the night but it's looking brighter right comments are scrolling so fast that i can't read them on my phone so okay you suffer from hay fever well i've never had it before um but jason kind of it just landed on him a few years ago. He'd never had it before. And his arrived last week, so he was really sniffy, had really red eyes. Um, and I can only think it's that. So I don't know, as I've said, I've done a test, so I'm COVID clear. So the test says, we shall see. Um, who else is hopping on? Right, at the moment, my MacBook is playing game and I can read comments. So I think it's probably a good time to turn you down. Let's make a bit of room. I've left Alfie over in the house because I've still got my little house guests, Sophie and Archie, um, but Sophie's gone back home to her house to pick Archie up because he doesn't sleep over because we're open plan. There's nowhere we can kind of shut him in. And he's only, you know, what is he now? 16 weeks old, I think. And he still, he will chew anything. So, um, and we can't, we can't kind of contain him here. There's nowhere to, you know, segregate him off. So he's going back, he goes back to stay with Alex at night. And then Sophie brings him back here in the day. So yeah, bathroom is still nowhere near being completed. Um, I think the garden is taking progress, but um, yeah, Sophie's still here at the moment. So Mary, you had a good weekend, but the weather's turned very cold bit of a shock to the system. Um, can I read that from this far away? Good weather for crafting, yeah. Do you know, Jason left early this morning. He was gone by six. Um, so I was wandering around the garden with Alfie and it was cold. It was really chilly. Real notice, notice the difference in the temperature. And I think the, the daytime temperatures have definitely dropped here. Um, and the evening as well so but at the moment the sun is shining um, I think we may have a chance of rain later this afternoon but fingers crossed we don't a bit of rain at night I don't mind it's always good for the garden the plants need it so okay you're affected by scented candles flowers grass pollen tree pollen and any other pollen going it drives you nuts oh bless you I just feel like very sinusy sniffy sneezy so maybe it is maybe i need to take some antihistamines and see if that helps so not very good at taking tablets me i try and avoid anyway let's get back to the task in hand and move you down to my desk so bear with the palm get your turn down 
Oh, my camera's all skew if I was doing, actually, filming. Oops, move everything out of the way. Sophie's been helping me. I want to do a couple of... Oh, come on, zoom in. It's not going to play ball today. Let's get the light on. Let it settle and try and zoom. Yay. Um, Sophie's, Sophie's really good with like social media and Instagram. She has a huge following on Instagram that is growing. Mine has just hit 2,000 followers, which is pretty amazing for me. Um, I grow very, very slowly on there. Um, but Sophie has done amazing with her account. She's only been open for about two years and she is like heading her way to 40,000 followers. So I take all the tips that I can from her. Um, so she's been helping me sort of try um make a start on doing some reels of you know card making in in the process so yeah so i've been filming all, all, all of my settings on my stand are different so i think we can afford to zoom in a little bit more and let's see if we can get comments back my, my macbook froze so let's do a bit of scrolling so you're going to have to bear with me. I am going to have to blow my nose at some point through this for sure. But these are the two lovely sets I'm using today. This is a brand new sneak peek set. Hello. Oh, okay. You're saying hello to everyone. Who else is joining? If I've missed somebody, I will scroll in a moment. Yeah, so this is a sneak peek. We will be using this at my launch party, which is on the 14th of May, it's Saturday morning. I've got a couple of spaces left. I don't like to cram too many people into the studio. Um, I can seat 12 in here, but I just think with, with COVID and everything, trying to keep the number smaller is better. So I do have a couple of spaces left and you can book that through my events website. Um, if you go to kerrytims.co.uk, click on events at the top and it will come up with the calendar on there. And you can scroll over to next month and actually book your place via there or just get in touch. So, cup of tea, isn't it lovely? I managed to get an elfy hair on there. And the dyes as well. And of course, you look at it and you just see the teacups. That's what happens, isn't it? We look at it and we think, oh, teacups. I've seen those before, or I have I've had those before, but there are so many things you'll be able to do with this. And I'm not going to be using the teacups today. I'll be focusing on that for my um, catalogue launch. And it's a tea party, so I'm including a cream tea. Let's move this out of the way. And are we straight with the grid? If so, we'll get it taped down. Looks like our view is pretty close. So, yes, exciting to be playing with new products. I've done a lot with this set already, so I'm gonna pop the dies to one side. I'm also using, no surprise, the beautiful shapes, just because they're so usable. And if you haven't got these, you definitely need them in your life. They are brilliant. Color combo of the day couple of new ones got starry sky orchid oasis and then i've teamed it with balmy blue and pear pizzazz now i did try so these are the remaining three in colors i have been using tahitian tide i tried parakeet party and it's really not for me it's so fluorescent so there will be options if you're coming to the class and we're using a green that you can switch out and use it. But I can't see me using it too much because it's just so bright. It's it's like flow. Absolutely fluorescent. So I've teamed these together and I think it's quite a, quite a nice colour combo. I haven't used Balmy Blue for ages, so perfect opportunity to pull that one out wanted to quickly mention this before we get going 
on Thursday we have free shipping. Um, if you spend £60 or more, then you will get yourself free shipping. So if you're placing an order online, then that will happen. Um, if you have an order and you're local, then of course you can add to my order that will be going through on Thursday. Can I just say how gorgeous these two are together? Now, I don't have the cardstock. We weren't able to order all of the in-colour cardstock um, because of availability. I think some, some products weren't available and they've, they've actually come back into stock, but I'll be waiting till Thursday till I do another order. I feel like I haven't left much room. Might have to just zoom out a little bit. Um, so we couldn't order Starry Sky, but if I pull through today's colours of cardstock, I've pulled out Knight of Navy. Now, if I get the DSP and show you, so these are the five colours. When you actually compare, you can see there is quite quite a difference between these two. Starry Sky appears to be like a, a more purpley blue. I don't know if the colour is showing as good on screen, but I thought, because I didn't have any Starry Sky cardstock, I would have a play and use the Knight of Navy because it all teams together lovely. So that is my plan today. So I've got some Knight of Navy I've got Orchid Oasis, which is quite possibly becoming one of my new favourite colours. And then we've got some Balmy Blue. I've got a little strip of the, the DSP. And then I've got some scraps here for stamping on. So let's start by folding our base in half. So five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. I'm going to have to blow my nose, sorry guys. It's just so runny. If I say the two words, nose and tap, maybe you, you will, that's definite TMI, but maybe you will be able to associate with that. It's just, yeah, just comes quick. So I'm always doing the TMIs, aren't I? But you know, we're all human and we all go through these processes. So I thought today, with this set, I would team it with the Cactus Cuties. Now you can find these in the mini catalog. They are on page 66. They do come with the Builder Punch as well, but I'm not gonna use that today. I'm just gonna be trimming around. And the Builder Punch does actually cut out this plant pot here, okay? But I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna trim around it. So I thought, let's do something different. Let's put aside all those teacups because you're going to be seeing so many of those. And let us do some stamping with the other elements. So I'm going to pull in my foam mat and a bit of the, the grid paper that, that goes with it because I'm using photopolymer stamps today. So I'm going to use this little plant pot got bits and pieces here of scraps and I don't know what is what. Then from the cup of tea stamp set, I've pulled out this lovely leafy um, image. That's It's kind of leafy, but you could use it in different colours. I've just done something with it and I've used it to kind of look like lavender. So I think that's kind of another option for it. So do you know what as well? There are creations. If you want to, if you want this to be a colour, that's up to you. Doesn't just because it looks like a leaf, it doesn't have to be in a leaf colour. It can be anything. The world is your oyster. So I'm going to start. Shift all those along. Start with the starry sky. My inks, because they're brand new, they're still quite stiff on the lids. So the more use they get. Let's use this piece, it's probably better. The more use they get, the, the looser they will come and easier to open. So I'm just gonna ink up this lovely pot. 
quite a lethal colour is Starry Sky because it's so dark and so pigmented. Um, we have to be constantly checking our fingers to make sure that we haven't got it everywhere. And in fact, on my original card, I, I literally finished it. I picked it up to stamp on the reverse um, and I put a huge smudge on it. So talking of stamping on the reverse, this is a set that I received when I did our uh, recent Stamping Up event. It's called Limited Edition. So if you are a person who likes to sell your cards at craft fairs or to your friends or to your work colleagues, you will definitely want this set. So it's, clear, it's a cling set, so red rubber, but when you're selling our, anything that has our stamped images on, so your cards or gift packaging, you need to have this logo on the reverse. It's one of our policies, it's called an angel policy, um, and you need to stamp that on the reverse and stamped it on the back of one here. I do like that one, handcrafted from the heart. So yeah, lovely, lovely set. You'll find, you'll get a lot of use of that one. So I've just stamped the lovely pot. Just going to scroll in case anyone else is talking to me. And then the leafy image. There is a die that cuts this out in the pear pizzazz. Going to stamp that one. What else do I need? Oh, I need some flowers. I think I might do some flowers separately on here. What colours do I need? Let's just do... Let's do a couple in one colour because I have stamped quite a few already. So let's do my favourite Orchid Oasis. And let's just mount that a little better in the centre of the block and then we won't have any rocking and rolling. I love, love, love this little flower. It's the cutest. So I'm just going to do a few. And then just in case, I'll do a couple in balmy blue. So I'm just gonna clean that out on my chamois. And just do a couple in balmy blue. I have not used balmy blue for such a long time. Isn't it lovely? Lovely colour blue. I've got tons of cardstock in this colour as well. So what I'm going to do is snip off that. This one I'm going to hand cut. Then I also need, while I've got my mat out, I need a greeting, which I think might still be in here. So I thought on this card, I would use the thank you because we all know that a thank you goes a very long way. Just mount that one. I think I'm gonna need another scrap because I'm gonna cut this one out. So I'm gonna do that in the starry sky. I love the, oops, look at that, be careful if that happens. I've, I've picked quite a huge block to do this, but I don't plan on rocking or rolling. Going straight down, straight up with two hands. Missed a little bit there. I'm gonna have another go. Just apply a bit more pressure. Okay, so how lovely is that script? And I'm going to trim that off. Can use that little bit of scrap for something else. And then we'll do a bit of die cutting to get us going. So, by the way, these markings on here, this this is like just adhesive. Can you see it comes off? It's where, where my older plates, if, I, if you look at one of my older plates, I mean, this is like loved to the point beyond love. Um, but 
parts of this stick onto the adhesive that's under here where this sheet is slightly cracked um, but that will rub off with an adhesive remover I don't recommend you keep plates for this long I still do use it now and then that's why it's out on my side um, a nice clean plate is always better got a bit of a curve going on here but what we're going to do is cut out some flowers and this foliage let's grab some dice so in the teacup set i love that we've got doubles of the little flower so this one i'm going to use of the leaves and of these little like tea bag tags got the larger one as well and then these three gorgeous hearts i just love all the elements in it um haven't actually used this stamp yet but there's a lovely leaf in it as well and then from the beautiful shapes oh i need need that leaf image don't i i'm going to use that one no the next size so that circle circle dies are so so handy to have and we'll just tape these down because you can guarantee when i pick up this stack of plates and turn around they will slide and move about so so what did you all get up to at the weekend did you manage to get anywhere and do anything do something a bit different so we actually so friday was good friday here in the uk so it's a bank holiday so jason was off work so we went out <clears throat> first thing and got some bits for the garden, had some jobs to do around the garden. Just need to, I haven't quite fathomed yet how this die sits on this flower and what I recommend you do I show you it it's a really tricky one to try and pinpoint because the flower looks so in my eye it looks so kind of how, how can I say this without let's just say I can't determine which way this sits on by looking at the flower stamped image and looking there's nothing that sticks out to me maybe that way that that makes me initially see that's not quite right it looks like it's right so i'm just gonna have to keep turning and what i recommend you do when you've got something like this is that it i don't think that's it either it looks like it fits and then it doesn't that's better so what i recommend you maybe do is what i do with tricky ones like this is take a sharpie pen make a dot say here on your stamp with a permanent marker pen and then when you've lined it up with your die where you, when you know which pe which petal that is put a, a marker on your die with a sharpie pen and then you can straight away line up your die with your flower and that you're not faffing and turning and the other way i've been doing it is I've been stamping like rows so that when I take the die out, I can move it di directly to the next one. If I keep it in the same orientation and I don't turn it, and I'm not, you're not kind of faffing around, turning and twisting your dies around to try and fathom out which way it fits. It's not one of those dies that's completely obvious as to which way it goes down onto your stamped image if that makes sense, if you have any remote idea of what I am waffling on about. So if you're just joining, say hello, I can see a couple of people have dropped in. Oh, hi, Belle. On the die, there's three petals that are the same, so I look for those. I've been trying to do that. Um, let's have a closer look. Because when you turn it each way, to me, it kind of looks the same. And I just can't get my head around it. So I, want, I think the best thing to do is to mark 
what I will probably do is mark my stamp with a permanent marker and then also mark the die so that when I lay it down, I'm gonna put these back where they belong. Don't want any dies getting lost. I'm not gonna cut all of these because I've done some ready because it's a bit time consuming and you don't wanna see me twizzling that die, trying to line it up. Okay, how are you doing, Belle, anyway? Saturday, Friday. Yeah, Friday was bank holiday. We went to see Jack and Coles, all of us, on Friday night. We had dinner with them, which was lovely. So got to see the children before they went to bed. Um, I'm just going to trim around this one with my scissors. And Saturday, I worked on Saturday morning. Um, we took the dogs out late afternoon Saturday while it started to cool down. Um, Saturday night we went to a family barbecue. Sunday morning we went off in the motorhome, drove over to Oxford, found a nice pub, sat out in the garden. That looks a bit... I've left quite a lot of gap, but it's fine because it's going on a white background. Um, yeah, went to... found a lovely pub by a river... Um, and actually managed to park the camper. We asked and they let us park the camper overnight. So we stayed there overnight, which was lovely. So there was nobody else there because obviously it was at the end of their card park. There was like a grassed area. Um, so we had a nice leisurely evening and then got up yesterday morning, continued on our journey to London um, Jason was buying a new car. We went to view it a couple of weeks ago. So, so we bought that and, and then I drove the motorhome home. That's the first time I've actually driven it. Um, so, cause we've had it just, had it just a year and I've never driven it before. So anyway, I drove it home from London. Thank goodness. Most of it was like dual carriageway. Didn't have to kind of get through London traffic. The garage was like outer London. So um, yeah, and then we got back mid afternoon. So, and then had a barbecue last night. So we had a lovely weekend. It felt like we just crammed so much in. Belle, you're good. That's great to hear. It was Sam's birthday on Sunday. So you had a family roast. How lovely. I'm, I'm, I'm not one for doing family uh, Sunday roast. Something we've never done. I think because... For so many years, we were away racing with Jack that I never cooked a Sunday roast. So, yeah, I do like a roast, though. My favourite is Christmas lunch. So I cut a piece of the DSP. The patterns on here are lovely. So you have like a stripy and then floral side and then like a plaid and a spotty side absolutely adore these i'm about well, i loved yesterday in fact i pulled it out i felt really inspired by your com color combination um so this is the sweet sorbet but the darker obviously that's quite intense but this is flirty flamingo and i loved how how those two kind of went together so i would definitely be doing something with that. I've pulled that out for inspiration. So thank you for that, Belle. I've also cut a strip of Knight of Navy and I've trimmed it down using the lovely penned flowers dies, which are carrying over. You know how much I love this set, but I just love this scallopy border. Um, it's just really handy. So I've cut one of those ready. Let's move my chair out of the way. Yep on the floor, get the Tombow rolling. I've just realised Alf has left his bone in here. I think Sophie's just got back as well, so he'll be looking for that. He'll be excited that Archie is arriving. And Archie is so excited, obviously he's, he's only a pup, and he gets so excited over everything. But he's, he, he's settling in, he's, he's kind of growing up and learning 
and I think him and Alfie will be best buddies. They do play more together. At first, he used to jump up at Alfie's face and Alfie would get a little bit cross with him and couldn't really be bothered with him. He's eight now, so he's getting a bit of an old man, bless him. Um, and then I've got this piece of balmy blue. So this, this measures one inch by three inches and it means that because our paint, the DSP is six inches, I've got another piece exactly the same size as this. So I'm gonna be using that on the next card. And then my balmy blue piece is three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I'm just gonna layer those two together. So yeah, we took Alfie with us in the camper. So was at home. Right, before that sticks, I need to trim a little bit more off of there. I can see it overhanging. And I don't want that. I don't want to be able to see the dark underneath it. Yeah, Alfie loves it in the camper. He loves getting away. And it's good because when we're driving, you know, he's allowed on one of the the seats so he can actually get up and have a look out the window whilst we're going. Right, then I'm going to lay this onto my Orchid Oasis, which measures three and a half by five and an eighth. I feel like you're miles away. I zoomed you out. Now I feel like you're miles away. Let's come in a tad. So let's put those together. So yeah, we had a really full on weekend, which is good. And it's nice to see family as well, isn't it? I hope some of you were able to spend the Easter break with family. Okay, so I've just mounted those up. I love, love, love this color combo. And then what I'm going to do is pop this straight on to my Knight of Navy layer. Don't know what that is on there, a bit of adhesive. When you see my original, you'll see exactly where I put my thumbprint of Knight of Navy ink. It's a bit of a giveaway. There's a bit of glue on there as well. So I've just mounted those all up. My comments have gone. They are back. Let's just have a quick drink. Okay. Move you up a little bit as I have zoomed. Next, we can start adding some elements. So I've got one more thing I need to cut, which I can do quickly over here. And that's from the beautiful shapes again, this large hexagon here. So I'm just gonna cut that in the basic white. Very quickly. So yeah, I was a bit anxious about driving the, the motorhome all the way back from London. I say all the way, it's like only two hours, it's not far. Um, having never driven it before, but it was totally fine. It's like driving a van and I'm not sure how long it is. It's probably 28 foot maybe, something like that. I know our other one was about 33 foot and it's a little bit shorter, so gonna lay this hexagon straight down onto my base but it was fine you just have to allow extra room for braking from cars in front of you and then when you're going around a roundabout you just have to take it a bit wider and of course you have no rear view mirror you've got to rely on your your side mirrors but yeah it was fine right under my plant pot. I'm going to pop some mini dimensionals. 
oops, that one doesn't want to come away. And I'm going to pop it down in the middle near the bottom. And we'll do that after. What I want to do with this, I'm going to need some more flowers. I've got a whole stack that I've cut out ready. I think I'm using two of each. So we've got Starry Sky. That's not Starry Sky. Starry Sky, Balmy Blue and Orchid Oasis. And what I like to do with them is just use my take your pick tool just to squidge down the center to make them kind of pop up. Of course you can turn the petals down. You see me doing that all the time with my bone fold or you could kind of do it that way. Would be quicker than, than turning down with a bone folder to make them kind of pop the other way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then with this, what I'm going to do is chop into it and I'm just going to randomly separate it into kind of smaller segments. Um, not really sure which pieces I cut on my original, but I don't think it really matters. Just kind of trim it, cut off those harsh edges. Oops, that nearly landed in an ink pad. So always look, look at what else you can do with what you have. Do I need that that big? don't think so. What I'm going to do is just chop it right down the middle like that, which looks kind of scary. Might just trim in there. But I'm hoping most of it will be hidden with the flowers. So I've just cut it up into pieces. And then I'm just going to lay them down. Give them a little curl. So I kind of, if I'm curling leaves under, I then pinch at the bottom and fold it that way just so it sort of pops up a little. So I think we'll have one up here. We may need some more flowers if we've got some gaps. Got glue on myself then. One over here. One that's going in that direction over this side. Like that. Have one in the middle. Belle, you haven't driven your motorhome yet and it's much smaller than ours. I think you're six metres. I know, and I think, I, I don't know what, I get anxious about everything at the moment, and I think that's just like an age, possibly menopausal thing, dare I say. Um, that will do, I think. Um, yeah, I was anxious about it. But as soon as I was behind the wheel, literally after about three seconds of going through the gears, it's got six gears as well, I was totally fine. You know, and like I said, most of it on the way back was either dual carriageway or motorway. So, right, what I'm going to do is pop three flowers along the bottom. One of each colour. I can feel the voice, oops, go in. Of course you had to land gluey side down just scrape that off 
and then we'll just kind of fill in some gaps I think so maybe this one here maybe one over here and one up here maybe tuck that one in a bit you know anything goes now I'm covered in Tombow <laughs> So we've got a bit of foliage poking underneath. Just gonna wipe my hands and blow my nose at the same time. Can you see? So there is a bit of foliage poking from behind. So yeah, I was totally fine. Totally fine. And I kind of it's quite an easy route home. Um Oxford and then kind of Burford. Lovely, lovely drive actually. Lovely part of of the country. And I even got it in on the driveway, which isn't a ma major challenge because the driveway is quite big. But I reversed it back into its spot on my own. So impressed with myself. So I'm going to pop my greeting just down there and then this is from another new set I'll give you a little peek of it I don't know if I showed you it last week I might have absolutely adore this framed occasions so it's designed to go with the beautiful shapes dies and I've just pulled out this little dotty stamp which I am finding that I'm using all the time at the moment. I'm going to use Orchid Oasis and very gently I'm just going to mount it that way round more in the centre. I'm going to gently tap on my ink. I don't want any ink on my block. Okay I just want ink on my stamp. Can you see? And I'm going to add couple of dots oh I missed one that's what happens when you don't use two hands don't get full coverage let's do something about that I feel like we need another dot here let's wedge that under it's gonna ink that up again I just want one I'm going to use, oh, I think that was half on and half off. Oh, it was okay. You'd never know. You'd never know I missed half of it. Let's put that ink back over there. So I just used a scrap. Oh, I've thrown it away now. I just used a scrap to mask off the other two so they didn't go on my card. And then to finish, I'm just going to add in some bling because we all need a bit of bling in our life. I love our rhinestones because there are so many of them and they go such a long way. But I will say they are currently £4.75 and they are increasing in price in the new annual catalogue coming out. So if you love these, definitely Get yourself another pack to keep you going. And then I left it at that. So nothing too over the top, a bit of fussy die cutting of those flowers. But to be honest, if you like fussy cutting, you could cut with scissors and not have the fuss of lining up the die. But, but you get two of them. So once you've sussed out the shape of the flower, compared to the dye, you will find it much easier to use. So let's bring in my original. Where do you think the thumbprint went? <laughs> You've guessed it, right up in that corner. Huge thumbprint of Starry Sky ink. So I managed to lift up the corner and just turn it over and stick it down. And you'd probably never know. So yeah, so not just about teacups, there's much more to it. Right, let's do another. This one's a little bit lighter in colour. Got a few bits cut already. 
So this time we're using Orchid Oasis as our base. So I'm just going to fold that one in half. And then I'm mounting with a layer of Knight of Navy, which is three and seven eighths by five, three and seven eighths, three and three quarters by five and three eighths. And then on top of that, another white layer, which is three and a half by five and one eighth. So we're kind of matting and layering. I'm gonna put those to one side, make a bit of room, pull in my scrap piece of grid paper. Can you see what I'm doing? And then we're gonna start, I'm gonna move that one out of the way, give my little flower stamp a clean. I'm going to use that one and then I've pulled out from the set this lovely little leafy image here and this is the one that has two dies that goes with it as well which is really great I love that they do that for us so I'm going to use both of these make sure that's clean start with Orchid Oasis and I'm going to create a little background on my card but I don't want it too intense can you see what I'm doing yeah um, I'm just seeing K okay. try placing the die over the stamp cutting edge up to find the correct position try placing the die over the stamp cutting edge trying to get my brain to work that one out thank you ellie i mean you've got me in the room with you you're all, you're all making breakfast that sounds fun don't know about having me in the room with you all but bell going forwards in your camp is tricky enough going backwards is a totally different challenge yeah i just had to use obviously use the mirrors there is a reversing camera on the back so I made sure I didn't drive into the studio. Thank you for your lovely comments. You like the card. Hello, Kate. How are you doing? This is over the internet as you tested positive for COVID. Oh, bless you. Spoil all of your Easter plans. Yes, I bet. But only the cough is causing you problems. Oh, you poor thing. You poor, poor thing. I hope that it doesn't get any worse and... Um, that you're soon kind of back to normal. I say back to normal. I think anybody that has COVID, it takes a while to get back to normal. Um, I'm definitely feeling like breathing is not how it used to be. My smell gradually is coming back, but sending you hugs anyway, Kate. Sending you hugs. So I'm just going to stamp off. So this is Orchid Oasis. What I should do, rather than wasting these stamped off images, is stamp them onto another piece so that I could use them. Now you'll see like a trend. When I am creating a background, I kind of work in a diagonal. So I kind of go across and then I go up and I go across in between the gap. I don't want too many but I want enough. Just have an edge there, maybe an edge there. Such a pretty flower. And then with the pear pizzazz, we'll do the same with the little leaf. And we'll just fill in, oh, this is tricky because I cannot see where we are going. So I'm inking, stamping off. Let's have that one that way. And I'm kind of, this works lovely actually. 
I'm kind of pointing the leaf in the direction where I feel there's a bit of a white gap, if that makes sense. You can go that way. Have we all got one? And then what I'm just going to do is take, bring a couple in from the edge where it's a bit bare. It'll be fine. It will be fine, she says. We'll try and cover it somehow. Yeah, lethal. Picking up the ink pads. You need to like push them out of the way. As soon as you pick them up, you touch the ink, don't you? But we'll be okay with that one. So really pretty background. I think I need to just do a little bit more stamping I definitely need another one of these so let's just ink one of those and chop that off ready for cutting and then my greeting which I'm going to do in starry sky which isn't mounted very straight on my blog but it's the let's get together soon I love this greeting Love the style of the fonts. It's kind of lovely. Sits well together. And then I think that's it because I've got flowers cut out and done ready. So I'm just going to run this one through. Where's my washi tape? Here it is. So this one lines up beautifully. You could just, because I chopped this one up, you could just fussy cut around the pieces that you want. Oops. But it's just as easy to kind of cut the whole thing and then cut into it after. the die back. Best practice. Let's put that one there. Oh, I've just remembered I need another flower pot, but I can see one that I've done earlier, so we'll use that. So the other flower pot I chose was this one here. This is the one that works with the punch the, the cactus punch. So it's this one here and I've stamped it in starry sky. I love how it just leaves these white white bits. I just think that's great. Sim it's the simple things, isn't it? So um, you're never normal, Kate. You are lovely. Yeah, sending you lots of virtual hugs because you know, when you're not feeling 100%, it's, it's not fun, is it? And when you've had to cancel plans, when you had, you know, family things, that's just rotten. So, Kay, you like my background stamping. Thank you, yeah. Apart from the nice smudge. See, it happens to us all. Let's cut this one out. I love these flower pots. And as I've said, I have not seen these in the new annual catalogue, the Cactus Cuties, but that doesn't mean that it may not carry over because we do have stuff from mini catalogues that carries over to the next one. And while we're fussy cutting, let's put that in my little pot. Let's just trim around here. Now you could cut this out with a circle cutter if you've got like a label punch but I just wanted to fussy cut around here just to show that kind of anything goes don't think oh I haven't got haven't got a die that will work with that greeting quite often they look lovely just that's okay just um trimmed around let's do the same on here as what we did on the last one. Just 
just cut around the foliage. Let's just trim off those like raw edges. I haven't even looked to see half past ten. Been an hour. What the time is doing. Then trim down this one and we'll just go right down the middle of there because that will be hidden and then trim this one I think that will be fine so we've ended up with like four elements from that one that one stamp this one which is like a grassy verge let's pop a couple of dimensionals oh done it again that was touching that block and I'm not surprised because look how much ink is around there pressed way too hard <laughs> good job it was on the back isn't it press way too hard into the ink pad that's why that happened the other thing I need what have I cut I've already cut from vellum the largest hexagon, but I also need a couple of others. I think it's that one and that one. And I'm just going to lay them down together, get them sitting centrally, the center, the smaller one, centrally inside. If it's not central, it does look a bit odd. I'm going to tape it down. I'm going to tape it down well. I don't want it moving. And just quickly cut that. the purpose it will be fine carefully pull the washi off so we don't tear so we get that one and we get that one put those two back so we end up with with a frame and then we've got this, the centerpiece that we're going to use as well. So let's start by layering up the base of our card. Now, I think we're just going to have to grin and bear with that smudge. Not sure if I'm going to be able to cover it over. Let's layer these two together. Got quite a big gap around here because I wanted the the Knight of Navy to show through and you can see that it's not the same colour <coughs> excuse me frog got me um, but it kind of blends for now until I can get that starry sky cardstock it's gonna have to do so obviously oh has my grid paper like totally moved We're not too bad. Leave it where it is. Obviously, with shipping problems, with manufacturing problems, we did have a little delay on some of our in-colour stuff, which is fine. Well, not everybody was too pleased about it, but it's fine. It will come when it's, when it's ready, when it's available. This is the other half of that DSP that I cut. So I'm going to pop spotty side is cute some tombow along there and just stick it straight down and then trim it off yeah so i've got coffee and card this afternoon slightly worries me because it's half term and i fear that everybody will be away making the most of the good weather while it's here 
So just got a little border there. And we'll pop that one down first. Now I'm not going to be able to hide that. Never mind. I'm going to lay this quite high up. Went too low. My grid paper's crooked. Trying to see if everything is straight is, is hard on the eye. Let's move it down a bit, see if that helps. Then I'm going to take my vellum. I love our vellum. Okay, did I get the 12 by 12? No. Stupid, wasn't I? I need to do another order. Um, didn't get the 12 by 12 cardstock because I, sh I should have and then I'd have had some samples of all the colours because we couldn't get sweet sorbet either. Right, to stick this down, I know I'm going to be putting something here. So I'm just going to pop my adhesive there. And then I know that it will be hidden. Like that. It doesn't do a great deal, this piece of vellum. Then I'm going to pop my little hexagon, the piece that came out of the middle, down there. And then this one, I'm going to tuck behind the vellum. So just a little bit of Tombow hold it down and just have that up there just popping out just a little bit of interest great way of using the dies bit of glue there and then we'll start building up our flower pots on there so we're just building up created our own seem to have glue everywhere I'd be lost without that adhesive remover and then we're just going to add in like we did before the foliage that I trimmed into And we start with the, the kind of taller pieces and put those in the middle first. Don't want them too high. And then as before, we'll just fill in. Could have left those two together maybe. Let's bring that down a little bit. One over this side. And then the final piece over on the left. Just popping out. So I've kind of like condensed it that from that wide image. And then we'll just pull in some more flowers. So two orchid oasis, two balmy blue, and two starry sky. Let's put the end back on. I don't know what I got in there, a bit of ink. It needs a washout. It's like everything, all our tools when we're crafting. I blame Tombow for most of it, <clears throat> but everything kind of gets adhesive onto it and then Kind of ink sticks to it, dust sticks to it. Okay. 
okay and then we can just pop these flowers on we'll do exactly the same as we did before we'll put like three on the bottom we'll start with balmy blue come on come along now put an orchid one in the middle Did that last time, didn't it? Stuck to me. Because we've got plenty of foliage here, it's not going to matter too much if there are gaps. Let's pop another one here. I didn't put as many flowers on this one as I did on the last. Maybe we'll leave it like that. That looks quite pretty. Move those down. Make sure they're stuck get a tombow there let's pop on some of the rhinestones oh one just stuck to my finger and fell on the floor <laughs> as i pick them up these little ones work so well with these flowers My poor putty on the end of here, look, it's got all squashed. That's fine. And then when you need to use it again, still quite tacky. Then what else do we need? Let's pop our greeting on. I'm going to layer this on dimensionals. in that flower but I don't think I can do a lot about that didn't really want to hide that flower but that's where I want it to go so it'll have to hmm not sure come up what if we try it down there on this one and then it, they'll they'll look slightly different not sure if i love that but and then i thought to finish as we're using the silver rhinestones i've got some of the what is this called the simply elegant trim so pop it over the smudge i don't know if it'll be it might look a bit unbalanced. Let's see if it'll come up. Might just look a bit unbalanced because I'm going to have my bow as well. Hmm. Not sure I love it that side. What do you think? Let me do my bow. Right, it's not stuck down, so over to the right or over to the left. I'm just going to tie the tiniest bow that I can. Possibly can whilst filming. Pull that really tight because it tends to come quite loose, this trim. blow of the nose oh dear guys I just feel it's not balanced Ellie left on top of the white hexagon over this side do you think it's better see my bow was going to go there I just don't want to hide. Maybe if I just go a little bit higher. Maybe there. Maybe that will do. And if I put that there, 
my little tail might just cover that smudge. I could always add a bit of Tombow. Let's roll a glue dot. Pop that down. And then what I'm gonna do is just add a teeny, teeny, that wasn't as teeny as I wanted it. <laughs> Never is, is it? Pick a bit up. Hover that over there. And hope that it stays there. It's a quite gluey there at the minute. Let's just see if we can get a bit more off around it. We'll call it done. And it kind of draws the eye away. There's still a bit of wet glue there. But I think that might just stick right over where that little smudge is. Let's show you my original. Which just seems to kind of flow a bit better. Just didn't want to cover over that flower. So yeah, a bit of background stamping. Love this colour combo. So there's not a huge amount of... Let's move these inks out of the way a moment. Not a huge amount of balmy blue. Is that enough? Loving it. Loving. Oops, moved everything then. Let's make a bit of room. The one thing I didn't show you, which I might do actually... Let's do it on, have I done it on that one? Yeah, let's do it on this one, which might just get rid of, it might move that, but on the back. With the starry sky, I've mounted up this handcrafted from the heart. I showed you that earlier. So it's from this set coming in the new catalogue called Limited Edition. Um, Really sweet. Important for those of you who sell your cards. I'm just going to ink it up in the starry sky and try and get it straight. I think from when I used it last time, it is mounted quite straight. I've put my sticker on quite straight. Can you actually see what I'm doing? So if it does go on straight, that will be good. That's not bad. So on the back there, handcrafted from the heart, stamping up, logo, copyright logo. So there we go. The bling kind of makes it, don't you think, those rhinestones? So if you've been thinking of getting some, add them to your basket before the new catalogue comes because they are increasing. And remember, we've got free shipping on Thursday. So that's, that's a great excuse to place an order and have everything shipped to your door for free. Of course, you need to spend £60. So if you've got a little bit of a wish list, if there are still some things on the last chance list that you've been hoping to get, um, there's still a lot of stuff on there. So, you know, head over and have a look um, and take advantage of that free shipping. So just something else to mention. I've added, well, changed my listing on my website for this class in the post so it's the flowing flowers this is um class in the post now available until the end of the month so if you head over to kerrytims.co.uk click on events and classes and that will take you to it and you'll see that there it's right at the end of the month so it's available to to purchase only I know a lot of you have been loving the flowing flowers at the moment um had a couple of orders recently for it so if you want that class in the post head over to my website and you can order that so I don't think there's anything else I want to share with you today I'm going to go over see Sophie in that little archie um take Alfie's bone back and then I need to get set up, get organised, ready for my coffee and card at one o'clock. So thank you so, so much for joining me um, during this half term. I know it's not 
easy for everybody to be around when there are children. Um, but enjoy the rest of your week with your children whilst they were home. I know some of you will be ready for them to go back after two weeks. Um, just for, you know, a, it's good to get back into routine, isn't it? So anyway, thank you again for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed the projects and I'll be back with you all very, very soon. So take care and bye for now.